Next we apply the third static equilibrium equation which is summation of fx is equal to 0. Now we will have to consider all the horizontal forces. So first horizontal force is HA. Our sign convention is rightward force is positive, leftward force is negative. So we have HA which is positive minus this horizontal force 60 cos 60 and this is equal to 0. Since there are only two horizontal forces in this beam, so we have this two. So on solving this, we get the value of HA as 51.96 kN. Since the value is coming out to be positive, so our assumed direction is true. Now since all the support direction has been found out, now let's move towards finding out the axial force, shear force and bending moment diagram. We start with shear force calculation. Again, we first take section towards the left hand support and we move towards right. So our first section will be section towards the right of A and very near to it. So shear force towards the right of A will be, if we consider the left hand side of the section, we have the only force acting on the left hand side is the upward force of 30 kN. So we have shear force towards the right of A is 30 kN which is positive. Now let's move this section towards point B by taking a section towards the left of B and very near to it. So shear force towards the left of B is equal to as we see between these two sections there is no force acting so we have the same value of shear force of 30 kN. Now let's move this section beyond point B by taking the section towards the right of B and very near to it. Now shear force towards the right of B is equal to if you see the only force addition when we move the section from here to here is this downward force of 30 kN. So downward force on the left hand side of the section is negative so we have this 30 minus 30 kN. This is equal to 0. Now let's move the section towards point C by taking a section towards the left of C and very near to it we determine shear force towards the left of C as if you see the only addition of force between these two sections is the UDL of intensity 15 kN meter acting for a span of this 4 meter. So we have shear force towards right of B is 0 minus of. Why minus? Because on the left hand side of the section the downward force is negative. So 0 minus 15 multiplied by 4. So we get the value as minus 60 kN. Now we move the section beyond point C by taking a section towards the right of C and very near to it we see that the shear force value of shear force towards the right of C is the only addition of force when we move from this section to this section is the upward force VC of magnitude 120 kN. Upward force on the left hand side of the section is positive so we get minus 60 of the previous one plus 120. This gives you value of 60 kN. Now we move this section towards point D by taking a section towards left of D and very near to it you will see that the only addition of force between these two sections is the same UDL of 15 kN per meter intensity acting for a span of 2 meter. So we have shear force towards left of D is equal to 60 kN of this minus of 15 kN per meter intensity multiplied by distance of 2. So we get the magnitude of this force as 15 multiplied by 2 and the answer comes out to be 30 kN. Now you can verify this answer the shear force at this section by considering the right hand side of section also. If I consider the right hand side of section you will see that the only vertical forces acting on the right hand side of this section is this downward force of magnitude 60 sin 60 whose value is same 30 kN. Now the downward force on the right hand side of section is positive so we get the same plus 30 kN shear force at this section. So in this way we can verify the answer.